Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 16, from the Amplified Translation as well as the Passion Translation, and it reads as follows. He who keeps and obeys the commandment of the Lord keeps and guards his own life, but he who is careless of his ways and conduct will die. And the Passion Translation reads, Honor God's holy instructions and life will go well for you. But if you despise his ways and choose your own plans, you will die. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true that if we keep and obey the commandments of the Lord, we keep our lives? Or as the Passion Translation says, if we honor God's instructions, it will go well for us. And there's a very specific reason for this family. You see, family, God has given us his word as our handbook for life. God is a good and loving father, full of grace and mercy. And he's given us this book so that we can navigate through life in an appropriate manner, so that we can live the blessed and abundant life that God wants us to, so that we can fulfill his will for our lives. Because he is a good and loving father, if he's given us instructions in his word of things that we should do and things that we shouldn't do, it's for a very valid reason. And that is because God wants what's best for us. So if he tells us to do something, and we do it, it'll bring about good in our lives. And if he tells us not to do something and we go ahead and do that thing that we're not supposed to be doing, it will ultimately bring harm in our lives, which is why it is imperative that as the portion of scripture says, that we keep and obey the commandments of the Lord, that we keep and obey the word of the Lord and that we honor his instructions, family. And as we do this, we will keep and guard our own lives. And as the Passion Translation says, life will go well for you. That is what the Lord wants for us. That is why he has given us his word so that life will go well for us. Jesus said that he has come that we may have, that we may have life and life abundantly. God wants us to have an abundant life, family, but the only way that we will walk in that abundant life is if we obey and honor the word of the Lord and the instruction and commandment of the Lord from his word, family. So if the Lord is telling us that we ought to do something in his word, let's do it. And if he's telling us not to do something in his word, let's not do it, family. And as it says, it'll then go well with us. Life will go well with us. But if we rather choose to disregard the instructions of the Lord, that when the Lord tells us to do something and we choose not to do it, and when he tells us not to do something and we choose to do it, it's going to go bad for us at the end of the day. What does the portion of scripture say there? It says, but he who is careless of his ways and conduct will die. And the Passion Translation says, but if you despise his ways and choose your own plans, you will die. Now, this can be talking about physical death, but it's more so speaking about spiritual death, a state of spiritual separation from God. And if we die physically in a state of spiritual separation from God, we will die and go to hell because we're no longer joined to God family. And that's what happens when we choose to despise God's ways and choose to follow our own plans in life. We walk away from the Lord. We turn our backs on the Lord. The Lord gave us the free gift of salvation through everything that Jesus did. It's a free gift that is there and available for us. But if we choose to despise the Lord and his ways and turn our back on him and choose to pursue our own ways and our own life, we are rejecting that free gift. And consequently, when we die physically, we will be dead spiritually and we'll go to hell. And that's not what the Lord wants for us, family. And it also basically implies that if you despise his ways and choose your own plans, you will go through this life and reap a harvest of death and destruction and bad things in your life because you're following your plan, your ways instead of God's plan and God's ways for your life. And consequently, you won't be walking in the abundant life. You're going to struggle in this life. It's going to be like walking through quicksand and, and all these kinds of things. And that's not what the Lord wants for us, family. God's plans for our lives are far better than our own plans. It's better than anything that we could think, ask, or imagine. But if we choose to follow our own plans, we're going to bump our heads and we're going to learn the hard way, family. So I want to encourage you to choose the, the right path, to choose the right way, to choose to honor God's holy instructions, to choose to keep and obey his commandments, family, because when you do this, you're God in your own life. And when you do this, things will go well for you in this life because you are choosing to obey the instructions that the Lord has given us and because you are choosing to pursue his will for your life. And as you do this, family, the Lord will take you from strength to strength, 
from glory to glory and from victory to victory. If you're struggling in life, if things aren't going the way that you want to, stop for a second and ask yourself, am I following my plans for my life or am I following God's plans for my life? And and if the answer is the former, where you're following your own plans, stop, repent, turn to the Lord and say, Lord, I've sinned. Please forgive me for following my own plans. Help me to follow your plans. Reveal your plans to me and give me the strength to go down that path. And as you do this, family, you will do what is pleasing to the Lord. You'll be pursuing his will. You'll be pursuing his ways and honoring his ways. And consequently, things will go well for you, family. So I want to encourage you to do just that. Thank you, family. I hope this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, this day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that your word is our handbook for life, Lord, with the instructions that we need to get through this life, to live the abundant life that you want us to, Lord. I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to always honor and always obey your word, Lord, to seek your will for our lives and not our own, Lord, so that as we do this, Lord, that we will live the blessed an abundant life that you want us to live that life will go well for us lord help us to guard our lives help us to guard our hearts and help us to pursue you and pursue your will and your ways for our lives and then we thank you lord that as we do this we step into the abundant life that you have for us where you will take us from strength to strength from glory to glory and from victory to victory and we pray this all in jesus precious name amen Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video, and I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal and savior, I would love to invite Invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation and if you watch this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis i'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving alternatively at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our snapscan qr code and lastly i'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you, family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.